So I have just logged in here to the first page in Enact. Um, this is where you can view uh, your entire pipeline or your entire team's pipeline, uh, depending on your um, hierarchy or privileges. Um, obviously, you can see all of your different team members here on the left side. Um, you can customize this um, this chart to show any of the columns you'd like so that you can sort and really go through and you can actually um, download a CSV version of this for reporting so you can select certain dates um, or project types to, to create a report on. You can also view your pipeline in a, a visual representation so it will show you in a pie chart kind of where all your projects are in the different stages that you can set up. So from lead to um, contract to installation, you can see where each project is or what projects are sitting in each stage of, of your workflow. Um, what I'm going to do today, just go into a recent project. Um, so if you go into a sample project here, I've just got a, um, a sample proposal for our colleague Kelly Ross. Um, you can see all of her customer information here on the left. Um, as well as the utility and usage information here um, in the middle. So you can enter, you know, annual dollars, monthly kilowatt hours, green button interval files. You can do whatever you need to um, quote the project correctly. Um, on the bottom, you'll actually see uh, proposals that you've created. Um, we're not going to go through the actual design and proposal stage today because we're talking more about uh, workflow and remote operations, uh, but just for... Uh, quick view just going to show here the proposal that I have designed for this uh, this home it is a seven kilowatt residential system um, you can have obviously your own custom branded um, proposal formats that we can uh, create multiple um, versions of for you um, but this is just a sample of a, of a customer proposal now what we're going to do is look at how teams can track this project through the entire stage. So that is done through our workflow template. So this you can completely script uh, for your process, right? Everybody may have different names for, for stages and different things that they do at different points. Um, so our workflow template is able to set up your entire process so that everybody can see where every project is in that stage, what activities or tasks need to be completed, what documents need to be uploaded or signed. And so you can really see the entire process um, throughout um, your project life cycle. So you can see here we've got um, a lead and opportunity stage, which is kind of for your um, scheduling of consultations and sending proposals. And once you have a signed contract and you, that becomes a customer account, that can transfer over to um, the stage owner of an operations lead who's going to see that a new project has uh, been created and signed and they need to, you know, start the operations process or whatever the next steps are. So within each step, like we said, we can customize activities, documents, alerts, or email notifications or customer email um, that can go out to show you exactly um, a, a scripted message for every stage in the process, right? So as soon as you click on a step complete, it'll send an automatic email to the customer and the task owner of the next step, letting them know that they have a new project ready to go. I'm going to demonstrate a, uh, a sample step in the process. So for this project, um, we received the lead um, March 1st scheduled a consultation. Uh, the proposal was sent out on March 9th um, and I'll track here in the workflow. And today we're going to go through the process of, okay, now we have a signed customer contract. We want to uh, move that project along in the process, alert our operations team or sales manager um, that we have a new signed contract and, um, you know, go through the processes from there. So if we were to go in and just check the box to show um, that this is complete um, we can select that yes this is a cash deal or a finance deal if there's a finance approval letter to upload we can upload that here a signed contract you can upload as well um, directly from your um, inbox and you know you can totally customize all of these 
steps to whatever your process is. But so anytime there's a required document or question needs to be answered, um, that can be tracked in here. And once you click step complete, it will also bring up a preview of that automated email um, that's going to go out to the customer saying, thank you for deciding to go solar with our solar company. Um, this is introducing you to your operations contact who will be managing your pro project from now on and scheduling um, site visits and installation milestones, um, anything that you need. So you can totally script your process. So these automated emails go out at every stage of the project and you can feel confident that you guys are providing a consistent message to all of your customers. So all documents that are uploaded here can also be viewed and accessed by any team member. Um, so you can really organize your um, your project um, for, for any step of the way. If you need to um, view which documents have been uploaded or still need to be uploaded, um, and any of the customer messages that come back.